Okay, so I was going to do an example. I was going to derive the rocket equation, and I did it, but it didn't record the whole thing, and then blah. I didn't really like it. You know, it wasn't really cool. So um, there were like little tricks I didn't like. So instead, I'm going to um, der find the center of mass for a half circle thing. Okay, so here is half of a circle, and let's say it has... Um, a radius of R and then it's actually it's got some thickness T I mean it's a real thing right um, and I want to find where the center mass is so I have equations like this I have X center mass equals the sum over I M I X I over M total that's the center mass from the X direction and then I have one for the y and the z direction. So if I call uh, this the x, this the y, and then this the z, really there's only one problem to do, and that's the y direction. Because if I call, let's call this the x, y axis right there, then it should be obvious, we could check that if we want to, but I don't want to right now. Uh, it should be obvious that the x inner mass if I have this part of this half sphere on the left and same as on the right, then those two kind of balance out to make the center in the x direction along here. I mean, I think anyone would guess that. Um, and also for the, so the x coordinate of the center mass should be in the middle, and then the z coordinate should be again in the middle, if it's uniform density. And let's say it has a density rho. Okay. So what we really want to find is the y center mass. Now this is a sum, this is fine if I had a finite number of pieces, but I have an infinite number of pieces, essentially, in this half disk. So how do I find that? Well, what if I break this into uh, tiny pieces of width dx by dy, and uh, then I have the mass of that piece, dm then I could say the y coordinate is going to be, I have to add up all those pieces both in the x direction and in the y direction. No, do I just add them up in the y direction? Well, I have to add up all the pieces, right? So I do have to do it in both the x and the y direction. So I have a double sum, and it'd be uh, dm times y over all of this over m total. Now, this is the problem, because when I do this, the, the sum over uh, x, x equals what to x equals what, and y equals what to y equals what is not so easy, because I want to go from this x to that x. That, that's fine. It goes from negative r to r. But when I'm adding up over here, then what's that value? What's that value? Okay. So you could do this. It's not too terrible. You could get an equation uh, for the boundary that would relate x and y. And you could integrate uh, from x equals something that's actually a y value to x equals something that's a y value. And then do the same thing for the y direction. However, it's a half of a circle. It seems easier to add this up in polar coordinates. So let's just draw it straight from the top. Here's my half circle. And so now I want to use this that's curved, for my uh, element piece, and that's R, and that's theta. And then the, that little piece in polar coordinates isn't dx by dy, it's not dr d theta, because this side is dr. But the length of that side, it can't be d theta. And in fact, it's like a tiny little curve, right? It depends on the radius. So in this case, this is wrong. No, that's right, okay. So this uh, surface area element is going to be r dr d theta. It's actually dr times r d theta. That's the area element in polar coordinates. So how do I get dm? Because I really want, let's write down the equation for the y center mass. So the y center mass 
it's going to be um, the double integral over r and theta of y dm over m total. Now I'm integrating, let's get dm first. So that little dm piece, I want, if I know um, dm is going to be the density times the volume. So the volume is r dr d theta. Technically, um, there should be a, a dz term in there too. Uh, I'm, let's call this the uh, linear surface area density. This is the density per unit area because the thickness just doesn't matter. So if I put that in for dm, then I'm going to get r dr d theta. My limits of integration are r theta, so that's good. But what about y? y is a variable too. I can't integrate y with r and d theta. So I need to get y in terms of r and theta. So here's y, that's r, that's theta. So y, that doesn't look like a y, y equals r sine theta. So now I can put this all together and I get 1 over m total, the integral of y, which is going to be r sine theta, and then I get dm rho r dr d theta. I hope you can still see that, it's not cut off the screen. I kind of poorly planned this out. Uh, now for the limits of integration, I have, I can do theta. Theta is going to go from here, I need to sweep all the way over there. So that's theta equals zero, theta equals pi. So I'm going to go from theta equals zero to pi. And from r, I'm going to go from here up to the top, which is big R. So I can go from zero to r. Now r and theta don't depend on each other, so I can integrate these independently. Uh, I'm going to do it over here, since I'm running out of room. And I didn't have a lot of stuff, it's kind of weird. Usually, I think I just, I think it's just poor planning. Okay, so I get y equals one over the mass total, which I'll find in just a second. Uh, I'm going to integrate this. I have sine theta, d theta. Okay, so I'm gonna write this as Let's bring out all the constants. Actually, the only constant is rho. Rho. I still have this r equals zero to r. R dr. R dr. I like that. Um, and then I have, if I integrate sine theta d theta, I get negative cosine theta from theta equals zero to theta equals pi. So when I evaluate that, I have negative cosine of pi, which is one, which is one, minus negative cosine of zero, which is right, one. So I get, this should be two, right? Because this is one minus negative one. Yeah, it is two, it's two. So I bring that 2 out front, and I get y equals 2 rho over m total. Now I need to integrate r dr, and I get um, 1 half r squared from r equals 0 to r. So here I get, put in r, I get r squared, 0, I get 0. So the y center mass is 2 rho over m total. 1 half r squared. Okay, but now I still need to put in the mass. So I can do a little cheat here. The mass of half the mass total is going to be 1 half the mass of a circle, the whole circle. So that's going to be uh, the density times the area, which is pi r squared. I think I'm I made a mistake somewhere. Okay, let's just. Hmm. I feel. Not kidding. Okay. Let's see, R D R. Ah! I have 
two R's. That's what it is. Now I have it right there. You didn't stop me. See, that's R sine theta is Y, and then R dr in the in the, the volume element. Okay, so this part's okay, but this should be R squared. Boom. Oh, I knew it was wrong. Okay. And I'm not going to erase it and redo it because I don't edit. Okay. So Y equals rho over M total. Now I'm going to integrate this and I get R to the third. Oh, and this is a two. I got that two right there. I had that two, yeah. Okay, I get R to the third over three. Yep, that's right. From zero to R. Whew. <sighs> okay, so this is going to give me um, two thirds rho over M total R cubed. Yes. Okay, let me just check something real quick. If this rho is a density in um, kilograms per, cube, per square meter, and this is in kilograms, then this is going to be, um, the kilograms cancel, I get meters cubed, and that's 1 over meters squared, so I do get meters. So it's the right units. Okay, that's good. Now I just need the mass total. That is the mass total. Pi r squared is the area times the density times 1 half. So now I put that in. And I get two thirds, then the mass total is on the bottom, so I get another two on top, and then over rho pi r squared, and then I get r cubed. So I get, oh, the density up top too. So the densities cancel, and I get the pi's on the bottom. Okay, that I think that might be right. I get two, I'll get four. 4 thirds 1 over pi r. That's the y center mass. Okay. It has the right units. That's good. Um, it should be less than r. If, if it's up here, that's bad. Okay, so 4 thirds divided by pi, it is going to be, this, let's say that's 3. This is going to be a value less than 1, so that's good too. I think this is right. There might be a still an error, but it at least has the right units, and it seems to make sense. Um, it doesn't depend on the density. As long as it's uniform, it's uniform density, it could be you know, lead or it could be styrofoam. It doesn't matter. That's good, too. Okay, so I think this is okay. I think this is okay. You can do the same thing if you want to do the uh, x center mass. What would you change? Well, instead of using y, you do the exact same thing with x. So this wouldn't be R sine theta, it might be something different, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you might want to do that. Okay, so there's one example of finding the center of mass for a half circle thingy.